Hey guys, today we're talking freezers and organization of the meat. But my family is omnivores, besides me. I'm the carnivore, they're omnivores. So you will see things in my freezer that are not meat. Do not judge me, I'm not eating them. It's my family. Anyway, so let's get into it. Oh, actually, before we get into it, just to let you know, I have two freezers. I had to break out my chest freezer this grocery shopping trip because when I brought the meat home, I did not have space in my bottom freezer for my refrigerator. So what we're doing today is we're gonna organize that bottom freezer and then we're going to organize the chest freezer. And you're gonna see how I keep my meat. Ill. All right guys. Here's the chest freezer, bam. So part of this is ice. I didn't think about that when I bought the refrigerator. Oh well. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a ton of plants here. So my husband, he eats, he'll eat a meat meal with me for dinner, but a lot of times he's like, so I really want potatoes. So we end up buying a bag of french fries for him and my daughter has some tater tots. That's pretty much it for the plant foods. And there's a lot of stuff under here, just kind of like stashed under there, not organized, can't see what it is without moving stuff around. And then down here is mostly meat. Um, my daughter really likes those Ian's uh, gluten-free fish sticks. So we try to keep some of those for her, but mostly this is meat. So what had happened was uh, this weekend I went to Costco and I got myself a big rib roast, a big ribeye that's not cut up. Um, it was on, it was like nine something a pound and that was for prime. So I was like, I'm getting this. So I've already cut it up yesterday, sliced it up into um, half pound portions and I vacuum sealed it into two pound portions. I've got that over there in the chest freezer right now, but um, that was the problem. It would not fit in that bottom refrigerator. So that's why this video is happening right now. All right, you guys, so this is the size chest freezer I have, and the other freezer I just showed you was the refrigerator drawer freezer. This is the chest freezer. So you open it up, it's pretty empty because I just pulled it out of storage. So this is actually that rib roast that I was just talking about that I cut up into two pound portions, and they're like four pieces each. So I can kind of pick and choose how much meat I want each time I want to eat it. Um, and then, Close that. We went to the container store this weekend. I know my house looks messy, but I bought these because I thought that maybe I could organize my chest freezer with them. Because if you don't organize your chest freezer, you just have meat upon meat upon meat or food upon food upon food. And then you can't see anything and you just gotta like practically get in it to see what you got. And I'm over that. I'm over that part of my life. We're organizing now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just get everything out of here and onto the counter so I can see what's going on. Okay, these, we try to keep ice um, packs just for like trips and picnics and things. These really don't need to be in the drawer freezer. We don't use these every day. These should be like somewhere in the chest freezer. And if I have to look for them, that's fine because these get used very rare. Okay guys, so I have managed to get everything out of the drawer freezer onto the counter and this will be the beginning of my organization process. I'm just gonna show you kind of the things that were in there. We have kind of the processed food section for the fam. And then over here, I've got a very tiny amount of seafood. I have scallops and shrimp. That's pretty much all the seafood I have. And then back here, I kind of put my little organ meats. 
Um, I did a Billy Doe meats order and I was able to get some lamb suet because I really want to up my fat, you guys. I'm going back to keto. Well, keto carnivore. Carnivore version of keto. And also more suet that I had gotten ground up from my local meat market. But anyway, back to the Billy Doe meats. Um, man down. So yeah, I bought some lamb brain. Never had brain before but I plan on having it. Apparently it tastes like clouds. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fry it up in pork panko. And those of you who are like, ew, ew, it's fine. You can ew all the way till the cows come home. We'll see how it tastes and then I'll let you know. And then I also have liver here. So this is pretty much my little organ meat section. Um, I've got some cow tongue, some chicken liver, but um, I'm really sad. My Billy Doe meat, um, oh, by the way, this is not sponsored. I just really like Billy Doe meats. Uh, they do a lot of lamb and goat. Um, this is my last lamb shank, y'all. Ooh, my last one. I had ordered like six, so I gotta place another order there. Anyway. So, and then over here, we have kind of a steak section. Just, uh, obviously I didn't buy these in bulk. So I've got ribeyes and um, New York strips there. Uh, that's a short rib that my husband's gonna do. Oops, camera's going crazy, flanking ribs. He's gonna do those. And then I've got some chuck here. And this is actually steak that ended up somehow freezing into a ball. So that's fun. Get some more ribeyes though. And here we have a nice one and a half pound ribeye. I, if I'm gonna put it in a bag, I will take the time to weigh it. That way I know like how much to portion out. And then I got a little bit of ground beef over here. And my commissary had some already formed uh, burger patties. They were literally like a dollar something a pound. They were like a dollar 84 a pound, you guys. Um, so I just took them out of the package and separated them out into tiny Ziploc bags, like sandwich bags. So it's literally one burger per, pa per bag. So easy for my life. All right, you guys, so we are actually winging this video today. I did not have a plan. I'm not that person that draws out exactly what I'm gonna do when it comes to organizing. I just have my idea. So we are gonna do this together. So I'm ready to put stuff into the chest. So I'm gonna start by putting these in here. Towards, oh, I love my freezer, by the way. It suctions. Did y'all just see that? It suctions. Yeah, good times. So this freezer has to be a good, you hear that? Over a decade old, yeah. And it just goes and you can't open it. <laughs> anyway, back to these. So I'm gonna stick these in the bottom and okay, yeah, they fit perfectly down there. So I have two more. These are slightly less deep. So I'm gonna put, them in here just to kind of see how I want stuff. Okay, so, so far this is what we have. It has that little ledge, so I'm gonna set that right there. And then this, for now, it's just gonna set on top of there. And I've got my two deep ones down there. So now we're gonna figure out what's gonna go into what. Okay, so I just ended up putting things that were sealed really well into the chest freezer. Now I'm coming back to the drawer freezer and I'm going to put the things like this 
that are not vacuum sealed really well and I'm gonna put them in the drawer because I'm more likely to go into the drawer than the chest freezer when it's time to cook dinner and I wanna get these used up first because those things are sealed up really well and can do a longer term storage. So we're gonna go back to the drawer and then back to the chest. Hey guys, we forgot about all the random ice packs that I owned. We are ready for the big reveal. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm so proud. Okay, here we go. Oh, and she opened for me. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Miss uh, Medea. Thank you. So I forgot to show you guys, it does have this sliding thing. So I decided to just put my seafood up there. There we go, that's better. And here are all of my um, vacuum sealed ribeyes from the ones that I got um, at Costco this weekend. And I ended up with two containers of those. And then um, I'll just take, no, I'll just move that real quick and you guys can see what's down here. So down here, I have this bin that is literally just organ meat. Also, this is uh, chicken feet. Sometimes I throw a little bit. I throw a few into my soups just to make it super collagen-y. And I already showed you what my organ meats are, but they're all in here. My cow tongue, my liver, and my billy dough lamb brain that I'm super excited to try. I will definitely share that. And like I said, this is not sponsored by Billy Doe. However, Billy Doe, if you want to sponsor me, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, so then over here, I have my fat. So this is all just suet. All of it. And I'm going to be using it like daily, but what I ended up doing was I put a package in the um, drawer freezer so that I can have those just easy access and then this is kind of like my overflow and as you can see i put the ice packs back there and back there so they fit nice and snug in those little those little sections so my seafood's up here which is really good because I, i'm glad i have it on top because sometimes i forget about seafood and i forget that i have it and then my shrimp all right so that is my chest freezer organization i hope you like it next we'll move on to the drawer all right you guys here we go let's check this one out okay not my food once again disclaimer <laughs> so i just put this stuff up top they can get it they don't have to mess with my meat organization down below to get their frozen prepared foods and then the piece de resistance my meat organization so we have the steaks from the store that are not vacuum sealed on this side just in random things um this one actually was a big steak and i didn't vacuum seal it i was being lazy that day i put them in ziploc bags so i just need to eat them and more steaks that's that big ball of like four steaks i showed y'all earlier and another that's a one pound steak so anyway this is where I put the, um, what are these called again? The Flanken style ribs. Trey will probably cook those this week. And then back there is a chuck roast. So, all beef. Um, I don't buy much chicken. So, this is really all I'll ever need. I Weekly, I'll buy like one big thing of chicken like that. And that's about it. Um, I put my suet here this will be the one that i'll be working on next i also have so that's my lamb suet that's my lamb suet right there and then this is my beef suet here that i had ground up at the meat market um and then we have our uh ground beef here those three and 
I have these frozen burger patties that are super quick and easy. I just throw them in the um, air fryer. Those are from Costco, so good. They're charbroiled. And then right underneath that is the raw um, beef patties that I showed y'all earlier that were like a dollar something a pound. So I'm good to go. I can grab quick things from this drawer freezer and not have to go rummaging through the deep freeze. And then um, I can just keep bringing things over from the deep freeze as needed. Okay, my friends, that concludes my freezers organization video. Um, if you guys have any comments for me, if you have any tips for me that I should be using, let me know in the comments, please. If you guys wanna know what you should be eating on a carnivore diet, go ahead and subscribe. You just go to my website, which is in the description below. Um, and you can download the carnivore diet food list. And don't forget to watch my other videos. You wanna watch the top 12 benefits that I've experienced after eating a carnivore diet for the last two years. And you also wanna watch the seven things not to do when starting a carnivore diet. Okay guys, I will talk to you later, bye.